Well, I made it back to Nashville in one piece and so did my pedal board. So I figured I would just kind of walk you through my pedal board, kind of show you the order of the pedals and why I chose the pedals that I did for this board. First, you gotta plug into a tuner. Uh, and I chose the Peterson Strobo Stomp HD, which is my favorite tuner uh, so far that I've used. You'll notice I don't have any MIDI switching on this. This is all uh, pretty much pedal to pedal, pedal to pedal. Uh, so from the tuner, I go into the Digitech Drop, which has kind of been my secret weapon ever since I moved to Nashville. Uh, a lot of times you're gonna have to tune down your guitar to maybe E flat, which would require you to bring an extra guitar a lot of times, but I solved that problem by picking up this drop pedal and I can switch it down to one semitone. So I can go from standard to E flat with the tap of a foot switch. But I also use it to fake a baritone. Uh, so I'll move it down to four or five semitones. I can go from standard to baritone. From the drop pedal, I go into my exotic SP compressor, which is something that I've had on my board forever. One of the best compressors that I've used, really simple to use as well. Just to squash it down a little bit and to even it out, but to tell you the truth, I mainly use it with my overdrives and distortion pedals to give it a little bit of sustain. And I'll let you hear that uh, once I get to those pedals. But um, occasionally I'll use it on a clean sound. If I wanna do swell stuff with like reverb and delay. It gives it a nice little bit of sustain. And from there, we go into a trio of my fuzzy octave pedals. So we go into the King Tone Octoland. Now that is a clean octave uh, up. I almost never use it by itself. I always pair it with a drive pedal or a fuzz pedal, uh, which will come next. So let me show you my fuzz pedals that I have. Uh, and I'll flip on the Octoland with them. So the first fuzz pedal is by Expresso FX, a small builder in the UK. Uh, this is the Fuzzbender Mark I, which is uh, a copy of the Tonebender Mark I. I'm a big fan of Mick Ronson, David Bowie, Spiders from Mars. <laughs> So you might see on my board, there's a silver box hanging out by the uh, power supply. And what that silver box is, is uh, housing for a nine volt battery. See with the Espresso uh, Fuzzbender Mark I, it didn't have a power input jack. Uh, and there was an internal battery um, that it would run off of. Uh, so to put it on my board and make it you know, easily accessible, he installed a power input jack uh, on the top. And then we have it wired to the silver box uh, where the battery is, that way I have uh, easy access to change the battery if it ever goes low. Pedal itself has an on-off switch, like a power on-off switch, uh, so I can cut it off from the battery so it doesn't drain it uh, when I'm not using the pedal board, which is great. Uh, moving on to the second fuzz, I have the uh, Park Fuzz Sound uh, by Earthquaker. <laughs> What I like about this fuzz is when I roll down the volume, it's still very usable. It's almost got some overdrive style qualities. But then once I roll up the volume, pure fuzz. Now I'm gonna pair it with the Octoland. Uh, 
And one of my favorite sounds is adding a little bit of modulated slap delay. We're moving on from the fuzz stuff and getting into my overdrives. Uh, the first one being the Love Pedal Chula, which is the uh, Josh Smith uh, signature overdrive boost. So that's the left side of the Chula, which is kind of just like, I mean, there's really no knobs on it. It's just a set overdrive kind of uh, boost sound. And here's the right side that I keep around uh, one o'clock. And another thing that I really like about this pedal is it pairs well with the other overdrives that are coming up. So a lot of times I will stack all of these overdrive sounds together. Now moving on, we have my favorite uh, overdrive right now, which is the Herculean V2 by Mythos Pedals. And if you've heard about my new signature pedal with them, the Sus Mariosip, uh, I based it around this overdrive pedal. So this is definitely uh, something that had to go on my board. <laughs> So right now I have this gain set pretty low, probably around uh, nine o'clock. Pair it with the uh, Chula. It's got a really nice uh, uh, sustain with both of them on. without making it sound super gainy, which I like. It's really quiet and clean. Uh, and here is the uh, second side of the Chula with the Mythos. So right there I have uh, three gain stages. To choose from. I've got the just the overdrive, just the mythos by itself. Side one of the chula. And then side two with the chula. If I'm not using an amp that has two channels or has a, a distortion channel, I always like to have an amp-like distortion pedal on my board. And for that, I'm using the LPD-87, uh, which is kind of my JCM-800 80s Marshall in a box, which sounds like this. <laughs> So if I want like a really sustainy 80s metal type sound, I might click on a little delay. And then I'll flip on the uh, compressor to give it more sustain. I can flip on the uh, drop pedal and get some uh, heavy, genty stuff. Uh, from there, we go into the best boost pedal on the market, which is the Vertex Boost. I use it kind of as my volume pedal as well. So. Uh, on my right side of the board, I have a Roland EV5 
uh, expression pedal. It's not a volume pedal. There's no audio running through it. It's hooked up to the boost pedal. So, so not only uh, does this pedal act as a, a boost, clean boost. <laughs> which I will use uh, if I need like a solo boost live or something, but it also operates as my volume pedal when I use it with the expression pedal. So I can do, you know, swelly st stuff. So my modulation sounds are coming from this new uh, Boss MD200. I like this pedal because of the smaller footprint. Uh, previously, I was using an Eventide Mod Factor, um, but this is a little bit smaller. It fits on the board. It has all the effects that I would ever need regarding modulation. You know, it's got tremolo, vibrato, chorus, flange, phasers. <laughs> Now we're going into the one pedal that I'm pretty sure is discontinued, which is the Boss uh, FRV1, the 63 Fender reverb unit. I use it for like my surf sound in a box. It's got a really good drip. Okay, so now all of these pedals up to that point, up to that Fender Reverb, uh, are patched through this uh, junction box that Mason actually fabricated uh, when we were building this pedal board. So what it is, it has four jacks. The way the pedals are patched into it is um, I can either take all of the pedals, including my time-based stuff, and put it through the front of the amp, which is what I have uh, set up now, or if I choose to use the effects loop in my amp, uh, I just have to uh, add two more cables and patch them through uh, the send and return of the box. And that will put my two last pedals, which are the Source Audio Nemesis Delay and the Ventress Reverb, uh, so my time-based effects, that'll go through the effects loop of the amp, uh, which is a great idea to do because uh, sometimes I don't know what the backline amp is going to be, if there's going to be an effects loop. Uh, so I can either run everything uh, through the front of a clean amp, or I can patch just those last two pedals through the effects loop just by adding a couple cables, which is super, super convenient. So moving on, uh, I have my Nemesis Delay from Source Audio, which is like my favorite uh, multi-effect uh, delay. And then the last pedal is my Ventress Delay. I'm sorry. And then the last pedal in my pedal board is the Ventress Reverb, which I'll use for a little bit of plate reverb to get like a studio quality sound. There you have it, there is my kitchen sink pedal board. This is everything I would ever need. And it better be because none of these pedals are gonna come off anytime soon. Probably the most solid built pedal board I've ever had. Definitely the cleanest looking pedal board I've ever had. Very, very happy with this. Thank you so much, Mason at Vertex Pedals uh, for sticking it out with me. And um, 
getting this thing done in one day. I'll tell you, we had to be out of the shop by midnight uh, or else they were gonna close the, the gates to the uh, facility. And I think Mason was probably soldering a cable at around 11.58. But we got it done and it's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I'll put links down in the description for all of this gear. I'll also link to uh, the Vertex YouTube channel so you can check out all of his videos. You can check out all the different pedal board builds he's done for different people. He also has great tutorials on uh, building a pedal board, choosing the right components for it. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, guitar lessons and gear demos, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay notified. Thanks again for watching, I'm RJ Ronquillo and I'll see you in the next video.